Today's date, to, uh, 12 to uh, 21, Friday, today's day, F-R-I-D-A-Y. Then this month uh, name is February, F-E-B-R-U-A-R-Y, February. And put the, write the first room letter, mental sum, so and write the number 1 to 5. Students, Salafi start, write the mental sum. The first one, 1575, you should convert into uh, rupees. 1575 pies you should convert into rupees. And the second one, 97 rupees 40 pies. 97 rupees 40 pies you should convert into pies only. You should convert into pies. And the third sum, 8 plus 8 plus 8. 8 plus 8 plus 8. You should get the answer. Okay. And the fourth sum, 10 into 200. 10 into 200. You should multiply and write the answer uh, adding the zero. Okay, this is multiplication. And the last sum 400 divided by 100. 400 divided by 100. Have all finished students? Very good students. Students, all of you check out your mental sum answer in the first one. And 15575 pies. 1575 pies you should change into rupees. And first of all, you should put the decimal point from the uh, left hand side two digit after. Okay, so 15 rupees 0.75 pies. Okay, students. And the next one, and uh, 97 rupees 0.740 pies. And you have to change into pies only. And don't write the rupees, just uh, write the, all the numbers without point. 9740. Just write only pies. Okay. And the next one, 8 plus 8 plus 8. So, 3 into 8, 24. 3 8s are 24. And the next one, 10 into 200. And uh, just you should add, first of all, uh, full number 1 into 2, 2. And just adding full, uh, all the zeros, 3 zeros. Totally, 10, 1, 0, 200, 2 zeros to 3 zeros. That is 2,000. And the last sum, 400 divided by 100. And uh, 400 divided by 100. Cut the 1 0 here and here. And here 1 0, here 1 0. And 4 by 1, so 4. Answer 4. How many of the got full marks, students? Very good. Students, today we are going to study about word problem. And say, what are the headings? What are the short method for word problem? Yes, G... T, yes, y, isn't it? This is the short form of the word problem. That is, G means given. G is given. And T, to find. And yes for solution. And Y for answer isn't it if it is addition number means you should write in the given part number of and also in the to find to total isn't it and if it is a uh, subtraction uh, word problem we should write the statement sum Statement is number of. Starting statement is number of isn't it and if it is multiplication uh, Word problem also in the starting, the starting uh, statement is number of. And division, and division some word problem also, the starting statement is number of, isn't it? Yeah, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. These um, numbered problems starting um, statement is number of. 
but in money it is different and in money statement the start uh, money word problem the starting statement is the cost of and rest of the addition uh, subtraction multiplication division statement sums we should starting word is number of isn't it but here in money statement word problem of money the starting of num statement is cost of all of you say cost of cost of always you should write cost of okay that students listen this uh, statement sum and you should first of all you should read at three times uh, one cold drink cost is uh, rupees 25 rupees 50 paisa and what is the three such cold drinks uh, which means i have uh, only one cold drink isn't it and this cold drink cost of this cold drink is 25 rupees 50 paisa cool drink node vela kuduthirukranga three cold drinks node vela ketirukanga seriyama so this is uh, this uh, this some meanings isn't it so where is the given part where is the number is given first of all you should see number here only number so this is given part and which is given part one cool drink the cost of one cool drink is given part and what is the two find where is the two find when the starting uh, of question where is the starting of question what is the three such cool drinks this is the starting of question so this is uh, this is two find this is two find first of all you should underline the uh, one one is in the given part means one single uh, is in the given part means that is multiplication sum. So, uh, here where is the given uh, one? Where is the one is uh, there? Yes, in the given part. So, this is multiplication sum. So, what is the three such cold rings is to find out. So, first and first you should write in the uh, given part in addition, subtraction, multiplication, uh, uh, division. These uh, word problems, we should starting word is number of. But here, we sh uh, word problem of money, we should write the cost of. Isn't it already? I told the cost of <coughs> one cold ring. Cost of one cold ring. That is rupees 25 rupees 50 pies. And uh, what they given? Yes, two find. In the two find, and this is the two find part, isn't it? What they given? Yes. And to find cost of again cost of and here you should you must write in the money word problem cost of cost of three cool drinks. Cost of three cool drinks that is question mark. Okay. And the next heading. What is the next heading? Yes, solution. What is the next heading? Solution. In the solution part, what you written in the to find part, that the sta same statement you should write in the solution part. That is cost of three cold drinks. Okay. And three cold drinks, you, here you should write uh, whether is it uh, multiplication, division or add or uh, uh, subtraction. Here only you should write. That is here, this is uh, what sum. And one is in the given part means, so you should write this is multiplication. So, rupees 25, 50 into 3. Okay, student. In the solution part, you should find the answer separately. That means, you should take out the point, decimal point. Take out the decimal point and write the numbers together. And write what is the, the multiplier number right below. Put the symbol, multiplication. You should multiply with this number first of all. And second, third, fourth. Okay. So, 0 into 3. 
zero. And the second one, five into three, fifteen. Fifteen in the fifteen, you should cut the five and circle the one, fifteen. And again, five into three, fifteen. Is there any um, balance number above? Yes, only one. So you should add with that. Then sixteen, you got the sixteen. So six, uh, cut six and one circle. Write this, uh, cut six. And the next one, two into three, six. Is there any um, balance number above there? Yes, one is that. So you should add with that. So seven, we got the seven we right here. Now you point out from the two, uh, point out from the left two digit. So one, two, point out decimal. So in the answer part, what you written in the same statement, you should write in the uh, answer part also. That is the cost of three cold rings. Cost of three cold rings. That is uh, rupees. 76 rupees 50 pies. Okay, students, that is. Uh, and this cold rings, three, uh, three box of this cold rings, and the rate, uh, rate is 76 rupees 50 pies. Okay. And one more song, listen carefully. Uh, I bought a biscuit. For 30 rupees. A biscuit. 30 rupees. 75 pies. Okay. And a sweet box. A sweet box. And a sweet box. And that is 152 rupees. And... And uh, another cookies. A um, pocket of cookies. That is 25 rupees. Listen, I want, so I bought a uh, biscuit, cookies, and sweet box. Okay, I now I calculate all the three uh, three products, all the three products. So what will you do? Yes, and you should do addition, isn't it? If you want all the products, cost of all the products, so you should do addition. So how will you write in the statements um, given part? The cost of cost of a biscuit. Isn't it? Then write the num number. Cost of a sweet box. Then cost of cookies. Then in the two fine part, you should write total because you should you uh, you want to uh, calculate all the three products isn't it so you should write in the to find part you should write total total cost of three things So, mummy, to be the name, why you have dinner? Every silver, mummy, any every color of silver, mummy. This is biscuit packet, you will have rupees. So, sweet box, you will have rupees. Fire cookies, you will have rupees. So, total, you know, you will have sell a wire, you will have been So, you will have rupees, you will have been sold. That's the end of the English cost of a biscuit, cost of a sweet box, cost of cookies, cost of a biscuit, cost of a sweet box, cost of cookies. Okay, this is in English. Balance sold rala, mummy to be ni sone na. Eppadi solve kana ke. So cost of, I mean solve. Adha thana English la cost of ingre thana mummy solve. Chliya ma. Okay, have you understood? Students, sala fi take down your max challenge, challenge, uh, Mandistani mathematics books and turn the page number one twenty nine. And the first sum, Manav bought a bat for ninety four rupees fifty pies and a ball for twenty five rupees fifty pies. From a sports shop. How much money did he spend in all? Here in all. 
already we hear that word where in addition statement keyword is not in all means the plus symbol you should do the plus addition and the second one mother gave me 50 rupees and father gave me 25 rupees 50 paisa my elder brother gave me 15 rupees how much money do i have and this also plus symbol plus sum I bought a birthday gift for my friend for 35 rupees. If I gave 100 rupees to the shopkeeper, how much money did he return? Return means you must do the minus sum. Okay. You should uh, subtract the sum. That is from 100. From the to, uh, biggest amount to smallest number. Okay. Yes, this is uh, subtraction sum. Mother sent Rosie for shopping. She bought bread for 20 rupees 50 pies and eggs for 96 rupees and biscuits for 13 rupees. How, uh, how much money <coughs> did he spend in all? Here also one keyword. Yes, in all. In all is a, in the plus, isn't it? And you should do the plus. A boy gave a 10 rupee note for a pen and got back 5 rupees. From the shopkeeper, find the cost of the pen, and here ten rupees he given, uh, he given, so and get back the money five rupees fifty pies. So you should do minus. And one eraser cost here six. How much? How many erasers can be bought for thirty five, thirty six rupees? Up. And this is here. Listen carefully. One eraser um, cost is given. And 36 uh, total erases cost also given. So, and uh, asking only one eraser. Uh, not asking the one eraser. One eraser cost is already given. And how many erases can be bought for 36 rupees? 36 rupees ki, uh, 6 eraser irukka kuriya rupees kuriya 36 rupees ki etna So, we should divide. The cost of one dress is uh, 241 rupees 50 pies. What is the cost of three uh, such dresses? So one dress is given and asking <coughs> in the um, uh, to find uh, three, uh, three uh, numbers are given. So uh, asking. So we, you should multiply. One is given in the given part. Uh, so you should multiply. Okay students. And this is your today's assignment work. You should finish it from the uh, 11th exercise in the from A to G. And this is your today's assignment work. Thank you students for watching.